This past April, WENY brought you the story of a group of horses in Addison that were rescued after being found in poor health. State police had to euthanize one of the dying horses and charge the owner with animal neglect. Today, WENY Samantha Potter went to the Finger Lakes SPCA to check in on the horse's recovery process. After just six months of being in foster care and getting the proper nutrition, these horses that were once severely malnourished are now back and healthier than ever. The Finger Lakes SPCA says they're even ready to be adopted. The last time you saw these horses, they were on a farm in Addison before being handed over to the Finger Lakes SPCA. This after state police charged the former owner with seven counts of neglect to feed an animal. It's really uh, quite incredible because uh, one of the horses in particular was down quite a bit. She had a body condition score of one and uh, the foster care providers and the veterinarians who were involved helping with the uh, care of the animals. Um, this horse is back up and, and just looking gorgeous. When the coda arrived, she was 300 pounds underweight and ready to go into labor, making the 20 year old Palomino in need of extra attention. The two Mars and their foals were sent to a foster home and the stallion stayed at the shelter. The foster family wished to remain anonymous, but tells WENY it was a relatively smooth transition to rehabilitate the horses. I mean, it's not just throw them on the pasture and look at how pretty they are. You got to take care of them. The Palomino mom, we had to put probably three to four hundred pounds on her. And then the Pinto mom, probably a couple hundred pounds. So, and you're doing all that while they're trying to raise a baby. It takes a lot of calories and a lot of money to do that. Besides putting the horses on a healthy diet, recovery included dental care, veterinarian visits, grooming, and lots of attention. As far as the previous owner, WENY has reached out to the Tuscarora Town Court in Addison, but has not heard back on the status of the case. The two foals are almost ready to be weaned from their mothers, and then all four of them will be up for adoption. For more information on how you can donate money to furthering the care of these horses or if you're interested in adoption, head on over to our website at WENY.com and click on this story. Reporting in Bath, Samantha Potter, WENY News.